Before I started removing all the wallpaper in my 1980s home, I swear I've watched every video on YouTube about removing wallpaper. I learned a lot from others, but now that I'm almost to the end of my journey removing wallpaper, I wanted to share with you the method I put together for removing old, stubborn wallpaper as quickly and efficiently as possible. First up, let's talk about the supplies that you need. First, you need a wallpaper steamer. And yes, I think it is 100% worth the money to buy a wallpaper steamer. This steamer is simple and really reasonably priced. I'll include a link down below if you wanna check this one out for yourself. Next up, you want a five gallon bucket. I'll show you what we're gonna use that for in a minute. Then you're gonna need a second bucket, any size, just to have some water in. Next, you're gonna need a high quality microfiber cloth. I'll include a link down below to the ones that I like that are really cheap and very high quality. Next, unless you're super tall, you're gonna need a step stool to get up near the ceiling. And then you'll need a scraper. Some people like to use the large putty knives. I really like this five or one painter's tool that has a scraper that's a little bit angled on the edge. So it helps you get under the wallpaper a little bit better. Next up, this is optional, but I think it really helps. You want a small bucket or a tub of some kind strapped to your belt loop. I use my handy paint pail and then I use a zip tie to attach it to my belt loop. You'll see why in just a minute. And then another optional item is a fan to keep you cool because I'm telling you, working with steam, you get hot. Especially if you're a lady in your 40s like me, you'll understand this is necessary. <laughs> You'll notice I didn't say you need any kind of chemicals. I've tried every different recommended chemical like fabric softener and vinegar, and none of them really seem to make that much of a difference. I did have one wallpaper that I could not get off using this method. For that one, I did use the Piranha Wallpaper Removal Spray, and that did work on that super stubborn wallpaper. Vast majority of situations, you don't need it. First up, you wanna fill your steamer with water. This seems like it should be easy, but it's actually not. If you try to just put water in it, it spills back out because there's no air opening. It's sort of like drinking from a water bottle when you don't allow any air to get in. It just doesn't work right. What I found is if you open up the rubber stopper air valve on the other end, while you're filling it, it'll fill a lot more quickly. I sometimes put a spoon handle underneath it to hold it open and it'll fill the water a lot faster. Next up, you wanna plug in the steamer. You wanna attach the steamer hose and the large steamer plate. I like to set the steamer on a large cookie sheet to protect my floors just in case there's any leakage. I haven't actually had many problems with that, but I don't wanna take any chances with my floors. After you've plugged it into the wall, you're gonna put the steamer plate in that five gallon bucket. This is to contain the steam for when it starts coming out. It takes about 15 minutes for the steam to get going. Then you're gonna fill up that second bucket with very hot water and put your microfiber cloth in the water. While you're waiting for the steam to get going, see if you can tear off the outer layer of your wallpaper. If yours has a vinyl or heavy paper outer layer, it might just tear right off in one big satisfying sheet. But if you're unlucky like me, that's not gonna happen. When the steamer has heated up, you'll see the steam starting to come out. When it first starts, it will sputter and spit hot water for a minute or two. Let it sit in the bucket until the steam starts coming out more evenly. It can be a little dangerous when it's still spitting. If you weren't able to pull off the outer layer of paper, put the steamer on a spot for a short time just to get it a little wet and then try pulling it off again. Generally, it doesn't take a ton of steam to get that outer layer going. Once you get that outer layer off, now you need to steam the backing layer to get that glue to loosen up. At this point, you need to steam it a long time. When you think it's ready, try scraping off that section with your scraper. If it doesn't come off really easily, then you need to steam some more. You really need to be patient with the step. Some wallpapers come off fairly quickly here, but some, especially the older ones, can really take a while. When you're scraping, you also need to be really careful not to gouge the wall. With wallpaper removal, you're always gonna have a little bit of wall repair, but it can get really bad if you go crazy with the scraper. I found that if I held the steamer plate in my left hand and then I move to the left along the wall, I can steam one section while scraping the previous section with my right hand and it makes the whole process go faster. After you get the backing off the wall, you're gonna have some glue residue on the wall. If you let this dry, it will get crusty on your wall and you'll have to get it hot and wet again to get it off the wall. So I recommend wiping it off immediately with your wet microfiber cloth. Now you see why I have the little bucket on my hip. I can keep the steamer on the wall with my left hand and scrape and wipe with my right hand. And I can keep my cloth nice and wet without soaking all my clothes along the way. By doing all this in one pass, I've figured out that I've reduced my time to full removal of the paper by about one third because I don't have to wet the wall twice. After you've finished one section, gotten the wall completely clean, 
Time to move on to the next section. I like to work down one stripe of wallpaper at a time before moving on to the next one. One fill on the steamer lasts an hour to an hour and a half. Anytime you need to take a break, set that steamer plate in the bucket to keep it safe so you're not hurting anything with the steam. But with this steamer, there is no way to stop it. It just keeps going the whole time. So it is best to just keep working as the steamer is going. After you run out of steam, you're definitely gonna need a break before you fill it and move on to the next section. Removing wallpaper is exhausting work. The steamer does come with a small attachment, but I haven't really found that useful. Anytime I get in a tight corner, I end up just using the rag instead of the steamer. And then you just keep going until you get to the end of your wallpaper. It is a slow and tough process. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. Please leave a comment down below if this method worked for you or if you have any hints to make it any easier. There's a lot of bad wallpaper out there that needs to come down. Next up, watch my video about mistakes people commonly make with wallpaper removal.